Follower by Seamus Heaney. In Follower, the speaker fondly remembers the immense pride that he felt as a child for his father's skill as a farmer in Northern Ireland. He remembers how he used to literally follow his father around the fields and would struggle to keep up, always stumbling behind the father that he so admired. In the poem's final lines, Heaney reflects that as time has passed, there has been a role reversal. Now that the father has aged and lost his defining physical strength, the father has become the follower and nuisance because he is old and weak and cannot keep up with the adult son. The poem's key message is that the admiration that children feel for their parents inevitably changes over time. The title, Follower, immediately establishes the speaker's admiration for his father, who he views as a kind of hero. At the start of the poem, it is the speaker who is the follower of the title, who admires his expert father. At the end of the poem, Heaney cleverly introduces a new way of interpreting the poem's title. In the final stanza, Heaney suggests that time has created a role reversal. The image of the elderly father stumbling behind the speaker in the present day reveals that the follower is now the father. In Follower, the speaker is the voice of Heaney himself, who recalls childhood memories. The speaker begins the poem with the phrase, my father. This establishes the speaker's intense focus on his father that will continue throughout the poem. The speaker uses many natural sensory images, such as polished sod and furrow. These conjure an image of the richness and beauty of the natural world of his father's work. Heaney presents family relationships as a source of support and strength. This is evident in the first stanza, when the speaker describes his father's shoulders globed like a full-strung sail. Heaney uses this nautical simile to compare his father's impressive strength to a majestic ship. The adjective full suggests that the speaker views his father as complete, almost perfect. The verb globed conjures a sense of the father's large, strong build. Heaney's word choice of globed might also imply that the father is at the centre of the child's entire world. Heaney presents family relationships as a source of awe, an expert. Heaney places emphasis on this compliment, 
by placing it at the start of a line and stanza. The fragment is short and sharp and neatly sums up the child's feelings of awe and pride. Heaney develops this idea of the child's awe through a description of his father's technical skills. Heaney's description of his father mapping the furrow exactly conjures an image of his father's extreme skill. The adverb exactly conveys his expertise and impressive attention to detail. Heaney deliberately uses a regular rhyme scheme and steady rhythm to create a sense of the pace and precision of the plough. This builds on the speaker's sense of pride in his father's skill. Heaney presents family relationships as a source of change. Heaney creates a contrast between past and present. In the past, Heaney writes, all I ever did was follow and describes himself as a nuisance in his father's eyes. Heaney juxtaposes this with the situation in the present day when the father has become the follower. In the final stanza, Heaney writes, but today it is my father who keeps stumbling behind me and will not go away. The word but creates a shift in tone and a volta in the poem, as Heaney signposts a permanent change. The phrase will not go away carries a sense of annoyance. The father is now a nuisance to the son, rather than vice versa.